Hello, I'm Bob Kucher, Sales Manager for Ace Torwell. We've been designing, manufacturing, and distributing our mechanical, electrical, and hydraulic drive spreader systems and commercial grade pushes for over 65 years. The material options on the Economizer hoppers is 304 stainless and painted hot roll steel. The two width units that we build currently today are 50 inches wide and 80 inches wide and anywhere from 5 feet long to 9 feet long. Each side is formed in a single sheet of stainless steel, in this case 304, and formed with a 45 degree angle to allow free flow of the material to the chain, supported by a minimum of three gussets welded to the hopper body and to form base channels. All of our hoppers are fully welded on the outside seams and bends, structural bends are put in to stiffen the body of the hopper itself. On the inside we have a stitch weld system and on the bottom of the hopper we weld in what we call chain guys which actually reduces the torque required for the engine to pull the chain through the sand system. Attached to the hopper are, are mounting plates used to mount the conveyor system and the motors. We install wood runners on the bottom of all of our hoppers to allow for easy clean out of material that spills into the truck floor and can be easily washed out and it also protects the truck bed. Our units are different in the, in the fact that we use a woven mesh rather than a welded wire mesh. Across the top of the hopper we weld in a balanced lifting eye doubling as two supports. An option inverted V is mounted on the inside of the hopper to help prevent the bridging of the sand and it actually takes the sand and pushes it to the outside wall of the spreader. The undercarriage or the conveyor system other than being shorter or longer is all the same. So whether or not you have a 1.3 yard capacity spreader or a 5 yard 9 foot cubic capacity spreader the carriage or the conveyor systems are identical. Where the drive uh, shaft is, where the drive sprockets are, we have a one inch shaft supported on both sides by two four bolt bearings which have their own grease fittings. To the shaft we add two eight inch cast iron 8-2 sprockets and then the pintle chain, the self-cleaning pintle chain that gets attached um, to the front and rear of the uh, conveyor system runs up through the hopper and delivers the sand out the back of the hopper. On a one inch shaft we have two take up bearings adjusted automatically through a system that is unique to Torwell. We weld a stainless tube to the body of the unit and include inside this tube a couple of rivets and a spring which keeps constant tension on the bearing keeping force on the front of the chain which always keeps the conveyor chain taut and it prevents it from dragging on the truck bed or becoming so loose that it spins off of the driving sprockets. When the adjustment on the inside tension spring gets to its end you just adjust in the take up bolt further and you have another two inches of travel before you have to change out the chain. Underneath the body we put a, a tubing that we run the, the conveyor chain over so that it keeps it up off the truck bed floor. As part of the hopper assembly we include an adjustable gate to the rear of the hopper. This allows for just a release of the lever nut and an up and down motion to either close the gate for less material flow out the door to the spinner disc or open the gate for more. Included on all of our economizer models except for the hydro spread are hoods that protect the engine, gas tank or hydraulic tanks on any of the units so that sand and foreign material don't get inside or poured on top of the engines. This is our Economizer gas over hydraulic powered system. It's powered by a five and a half horsepower Honda motor, which is electric start, all controlled from inside the cab. You can start, choke, and throttle up and down and start the conveyor and turn it off right from inside the cab. It is a pump driven hydraulic system that delivers to the two hydraulic motors, one for the spinner, one for the conveyor. Uh, there is a feature that throttle the engine up and down, which will give you more volume or less volume as you speed the motor up or slow it down. Proven for 1.3 yards up to 3.9 yards in capacity. One additional feature on the hydraulic system is the frozen or stuck load relief pressure valve. Has a pump installed to the horizontal shaft 
which in turn goes into a solenoid block. The block controls the flow of oil to the conveyor motor, to the spinner motor, and then again back to the tank. A uh, frozen material collection system in the block gives us a pressure relief valve so that if something does become lodged in the conveyor, the unit sends the oil to tank rather than trying to spin the conveyor shaft. The unit then should be shut down and whatever's uh, clogged in the conveyor should be removed. This is the Economizer mechanical drive system. It's powered by a nine horsepower Honda engine. It has a six to one gearbox reduction unit. It, it is also a electric start unit. The system was designed with a horizontal shaft engine so that all of the chains and sprocketry could be orientated in the vertical position. The chains loosen up over time. In the vertical position, the chain will stay on the, on the sprockets. Within our gearing, we control the speed of the spinner shaft and the conveyor system. We have an, a 12 volt electric clutch. This gives us the on-off capability within the cab to turn the conveyor and the uh, spinner system on and off. The main transmission drive of the Economizer mechanical unit is a one-to-one -one gearbox and it's used on all of our mechanical drive assemblies. An additional feature is a shear sprocket assembly that if the load was to become frozen or stuck that the shear pin would break resulting in the stopping of the conveyor chain resulting in no damage to the unit. This is Torwell's electric drive unit. It's a 12 volt DC drive motor, three quarter horsepower, sealed and proven for the last five years. That is factory timed in our gear reduction to give optimum spreader performance, conveyor speed and spinner speed. It's a simple installation. We have a control panel and a quick disconnect that would be applied to the back of the control panel and you're up and running. Simple operation, quiet, no gas required, money saving. This is the Economizer Hydro Spread Unit. This is probably the most simplest form of the spreader that we build. All of the power required to run the spinner motor and conveyor motor is driven off of the truck itself. So it's a truck driven PTO that supplies oil from the pump to the dual hydraulic motors, one spinner motor and one conveyor motor um, simplest, easy, no maintenance, truck hydraulic driven. It's controlled with a valve that's supplied by Torwell in the truck. It's mounted in the truck and it controls spinner speed and conveyor speed on and off.